For Battlefield Hardline, we really set out to make a cop show you could play. Give it the boot, Mendoza. Part of the thing that appealed to me about this game was like just going all in on this. This is a cop show. This is a TV show. These are our actors, and we're going to film it like a cop show. We're going to write it like a cop show. The whole story was broken down into episodes, just like a TV season would be. And then each episode had a small cinematic, and that would basically serve as a previously on for a TV show. Previously on Hardline. That's Leo Ray. Says he has information regarding the drug war that's plaguing Miami. One of the things I wanted to see is if humor could be a part of a Battlefield game again. It's one thing I really liked about the Bad Company games is they had lighter tone. In over an hour. Maybe you got lost. There's a sign on the door that leads to the tank. How hard could it be? Hey guys, sorry, I got lost. And there's an arc in each particular episode, but there is an overall arc, and that's the structure that we followed exactly in this game as you would on any series television show. Just Nick. Marcus isn't welcome here. It's all about how the story is caught up. The way Colin Hennon, who's our cinematics wizard at Visceral, gets you in and out of the first person view, he made some super smart and really artful decisions throughout the game. With Hardline, we really try to do something different, and I think we have a great creative team. We had great writers, we had great TV people on it. I looked at the call sheet, and we had the table reads initially, and it's a big cast, and it's a fun cast. Apparently there's a drug war, sir. It's always amazing sharing stage with Benito and Kelly and Eugene and Nick. I think the ones where all of us were together were especially nice. Ring, ring. Stop, 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 stop. The most fun thing we did on this shoot was before we shot, and that was the tactical training. Your job is to keep looking this direction in case there's a threat from here. He's watching the front, surveying everything. It's fun when you get to be the badass girl. Those are the only kind of characters I like to play. Badge about Dawes, anything. You're getting to meet these characters, you're gonna get a small amount of information about them, but it's just the right amount that you know them, yes, sir. you can relate to them, you like them or you really don't like them. You have no idea who I am because if you did, you would not be stealing from me. And then you're able to jump right into the action of the game again. Hardline provides a very relatable story. I think that's something that may be hard in some current military shooters is that the story is so convoluted because it goes into political and geopolitical dynamics. Here with Hardline's story, it's all about characters, so it's much easier to kind of get attached to them and to understand what's going on, just very simply. What makes stories good are the characters. There are 10 episodes in Battlefield Hardline and each one of them is a cop show you'll want to play.